Hi Virgo and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo and it is a general reading so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you and also that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching for someone else or not. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Virgo, let's see <clears throat> what is going on with you. And I actually will be doing this differently than I have been lately because I want to focus more on you. So yeah, if you would like to see more information about your person's energy, you might want to watch their sign and see if that resonates for you. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you for the first half of October 2022. All right, <clears throat> for the main situation, we have the Ten of Swords crossed by the Sun. Okay, wow. Um, there's either an ending of some sort or it feels like some kind of an ending, something that feels very, very painful here. However, we do have the sun crossing that. Okay, number one, it is Leo's sign. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be though. There's there's a lot of happiness here in your potential. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's just really, really hard for you to see it at the moment. So we'll see more once we clarify, but let's look at the recent past. We have the three of wands. Okay, so this could be it. You know, you've been um, waiting and waiting and waiting for something. And I feel like that something just never came in. So this could be why you're feeling this 10 of swords energy feeling like, okay, you know what, I'm done waiting. And, you know, just feeling like this is just never going to happen. Um, feeling like that possibility of happiness was, is just done now. Let's see, um, <clears throat> your conscience is here. We have the four of cups and for your subconscious we have the wheel of fortune let me just get the rest of them your energy <clears throat> the five of wands the other person's energy here the devil um near future we have the knight of cups okay finally a positive really positive card here um and the message for you from spirit is the ace of pentacles okay virgo yeah, it feels like you're going through a little bit of a tough time currently. I do see that shifting for you, okay, um, coming up. So do know that it is going to get better. Things that can actually only get better from the Ten of Swords. If you're in that Ten of Swords energy, it's like really hard for things to get any worse. Or for some of you, you know, you might feel like this Ten of Swords, this is something that you've already processed. This is something that has already happened. Um, it does look like, you know, at the moment, you're it's like you have this thought or this belief that you know this is just a disappointment and that's just how it's always going to be and from the looks of it though like that's not necessarily true you are not going to stay in this ten of swords four of cups you know disappoint disappointed unhappy depressed kind of an energy you are not Okay, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in your subconscious. So this is also like attached to your higher self here. And there is a shift. There is a shift that is happening. That, that wheel is turning. Okay, so... And we do have that Knight of Cups coming up. So it actually... And the Ace of Pentacles as the message for you. So things are definitely getting better here. It just feels like at the moment, you're just feeling this conflict here with this Five of Wands. It's like... Things are just feeling pretty tough at the moment. And it could even be that you're feeling some resentment towards a particular connection, towards a particular person. Some of you, this might even be towards your own self. Okay, that might be a smaller group of you, but I am also getting that message. Now, a person here that you've been dealing with, there was something very toxic about them. And I'm not saying that they're a bad person, and I'm not saying that this connection is not possible. It really depends. I cannot tell you whether it is or isn't, okay, in this reading. Um, but I do get that there is something that was or is pretty unhealthy here. There might be some kind of a negative attachment that this person has, either, either an addiction or there might be um, another toxic relationship that they are involved in. It could be a number of things. We'll see when we clarify. However, we do have the Knight of Cups coming up in 
your near future so and actually that's the same card that taurus got in that exact same position so maybe some of you are dealing with the taurus i don't know let's clarify let's see what all of this is about there's definitely a new potential here that is possible for you okay with the ace of pentacles it's like a new door is opening so let's see ten of swords with the sun the queen of swords the eight of wands and the high priestess Yeah, you're you're feeling like this is just done. I feel like, you know, you're feeling <laughs> from deep inside that this is a situation that just cannot move forward. And that's why you're feeling this Ten of Swords, feeling like this is just done. And then attached with that feeling like, you know what? I'm just never going to be happy and I just have to accept that. And again, the message here is that that's not true. Maybe this connection is over, maybe it's not, but feeling like you will never be happy, that is not true. I do see you, it's like you're giving up or, you know, in trying to either communicate with this person or trying to move things forward with this person. And I actually get that you are following your intuition with that. That right now, yes, you know, it's time to just put a stop. Put a stop to the waiting, put a stop to the trying to move things forward. Let me see this Three of Wands for the recent past. The King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. You are waiting um, for the other person to make a decision here, especially in terms of commitment or in terms of marriage. So maybe for some of you, if this is somebody who does have an attachment to, to another connection, maybe you were waiting for them to make a decision to cut that out, to leave that situation. And then for others of you, this could be somebody where, you know, you were waiting for them to actually um, just become more determined in terms of pursuing something long term with you or maybe even both. So, yeah, you're not doing that anymore. You're not doing that anymore, but you're feeling like, well, since I'm not doing that anymore and that possibility is not here, I'm never going to be happy. And again, that's not true. So let's see the Four of Cups in your consciousness. We have, ooh, Justice. Okay, so Libra Energy and the Tower. Yeah, you feel like there has been injustice. You feel like everything that has played out so far has just been very unfair to you. Um, and this is... This is crushing. This is definitely crushing, and I can see why you would feel so disappointed, especially if this is something that you were waiting for for a long time. So in your mind, you're just like, yeah, you know, that tower, it's, do it's done. Like, that tower is just destroyed now, and because of that, I'm just not going to be happy and it's it's really weird it's like you're almost finding some kind of like acceptance in that or you're just and that's okay you know that might just be a phase that you need to go through but i do see that you're coming out of that let's see the wheel of fortune death okay so scorpio's energy and the five of swords A lot of ending cards here. I mean, the Tower, the Death card, the Ten of Swords. Um, you're, I feel like it's a very similar message coming through where you're feeling like, you know what, this is just how things are. There's an ending and I've been betrayed. The, it's been unfair, I've been the one who is hurt, and that there's nothing that I can do about it, which, you know, that might be true. There might not be anything you can do about that because we can't control other people. However, this ending, though, 
this ending, and even if it's just an ending in, in, in the waiting for you, okay? It doesn't mean that necessarily that it's an ending in the connection. Of course it could be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. I'm seeing it more as being an ending of the waiting, which then in turn could create the ending of this connection for some of you, if that's what you want. Um, this ending though, it's like, that's what's turning the wheel. That's what's making it move in a different direction. That is what is shifting things because the more that you were just waiting, like the more things just kind of stayed the same. So you weren't shifting, so the situation wasn't shifting until it just got to the point of that 10 of swords. Let's see the five of wands. the Five of Wands again, and the Emperor. It's conflicting you though, because I, I get that you likely didn't want it to be over. You And I mean, that does make sense. I mean, you were waiting for this for so long, why would you want it to be over? You just don't want to be in the waiting game anymore. Um, there's either some resentment here, as I said before, um, towards this, which again, I feel is, is totally natural. But I feel like, you know, really what this is, is you feeling like you have to take charge. And that's, that's what you're doing. You have to take charge over a situation that just felt like there's been so much I don't know if it's arguments, but there's definitely been tension and almost like competitiveness between the two of you on some level. And I get that that there's a part of you that might still feel that competitiveness, so I don't really understand what that means. It's, it's really going to depend on your specific situation, so you might understand what that is um, if you're honest with yourself, because um, it's easy sometimes to just deny certain things about ourselves, but know that it's natural, whatever it is. So. There's some kind of either competitiveness or just feeling a lot of conflict towards this person. It could even be just that you're frustrated um, a lot still with this person. And even though you're kind of like trying to accept that, you know what, like I'm just, this is done and I'm never going to be happy. So yeah, you're, you're feeling frustrated with this person, possibly some resentment. Let me see, let's see. The devil for their energy, which by the way is Capricorn's energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with any of these signs that I've mentioned. Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it could definitely be an addiction um, for for some of them um, that they were involved in, and maybe this is what you were waiting for them to cut out. Okay, um, especially if it's if it's alcohol. Okay, I'm getting that message pretty strongly here. I do see this person healing though. Whatever this is, whatever um, negative attachment they have here. With that Four of Swords, there is healing that is happening. I don't know at what pace. It's not being shown to me. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely happening. Now, for others of you, if this is not an addiction, this is all about either another connection or this person just going after their wish fulfillment, what it is that they want. For some of them, it could even be that they have been selfish um, in some way. And again, whatever the case, this is something that they are healing. And either way, I feel like this devil's energy was keeping them from having what it is that they that they truly want, what it is that would truly fulfill them. So let's see that Knight of Cups coming up because that's actually a very, very positive card to see <laughs> after everything that we've seen so far. So let's see, Knight of Cups coming up and we have the three of wands and the sun. Wow, that is so interesting, right? Because we have the sun as the challenge here and then we have the three of wands in your recent past and it's showing up here in the near future, both the sun and that three of wands. 
um, attached with this Knight of Cups. So there's definitely some kind of a love offer here and I feel like that is actually coming in because you stop waiting. Because you stop waiting. And I don't know how far ahead this is in the future actually, okay, because with the Three of Wands showing up here, it is telling me that it's definitely something that is coming in. Um, in, in the future, so it's going to be different for each of you, but whatever this is, whoever this is that is coming in, whether it be this person or a new person, and for a lot of you, it definitely could be a new connection here with that Ace of Pentacles. It's bringing in that happiness that you're feeling like you can't have. It's bringing in that happiness that you have given up on, th feeling like, you know, you're just always going to be in this disappointment, in this dissatisfied, depressed kind of a state. So that is, that is coming up for you. And again, it's attached to you not waiting anymore. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords and the Magician. So there's this new path. Um, it's like right about... It's right about to open up for you. It's right about to start. It's like right around the corner. And what Spirit is saying here is really it's it's up to you how you want to approach that. Because I feel like, yeah, you know, you could stay in this stressed energy, right, from that Ten of Swords and just feeling like, you know, everything just sucks. And it's okay to feel that for a while, but... It's really up to you what you manifest here with the magician. So yeah, definitely feeling a very similar vibe to Taurus's reading and that oftentimes does happen within the um, zodiac elements. So like earth signs all will have something in common usually. Um, so yeah, you know, it's up to you basically. That's, that's the point here. It is up to you to manifest what it is that you want. And one way to do that is by not waiting, not waiting for it, and not dwelling for too long in this energy of, oh, I'm never going to be happy. Allow that to just subside. You know, be open, in other words. Just be open that, hey, you know what? Maybe I will. And that's when it, it's coming in. Okay, Virgo. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up. And let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have soulmates. So yeah, there's there's a soulmate connection for you out there. It could be a divine soulmate connection. Whatever it is, it's there and it's coming. So yeah, I feel like you've been through the worst of it already. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.